Hey, this is Aunt Carla from Marie Lizzo, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own wealth altar ritual. Now, as witches and magical people, we do not have to wait for an emergency to happen to manifest money. We can do things like have a weekly ritual so that our money comes or, or stays. So for example, I'm gonna teach you a ritual that I do every Thursday. And what I've learned is when you take care of your money, your money will take care of you. So I'm going to show you here in my TV table teaching altar. We'll go down here on this table here. And if you can see, I have, first I have the elementals, because this is just the beat, they're bare bones of any, any kind of ritual. We have fire with the candle. I have earth by this crystal. I have water and I have incense. So that's air, fire, water, and earth all represented. And then here I have the supplies that I'm going to use in my ritual. So I have here, here's Florida water. I have a green chime candle. And I keep a small candle because this is going to be something I do every week. So a seven day candle would take up too much time. But this is something that I can do um, you know, every week and keep an eye on it and be very mindful while it's going on. I have herbs here, I have basil, I have bay leaves, and I have thyme, and I also have a cinnamon stick. I have money oil. If you saw my other video, I showed you how to create your own, but this one here might be a recipe by my friend, but it doesn't matter. This is a money oil that comes in, that, that I keep in a, a roll-on bottle. I also have crystals. Now also these are crystals that are associated with prosperity, and I'll go into those uh, shortly. And then finally, I have money, I have cash. And it's important that you do this ritual with cash because cash has its own frequency. And it's not the same as if you're doing it, if you're trying to do it with a credit card or a, a credit card or a debit card, because it's not the same. Money has its own, its own, you know, its, its own smell, its own feel. It has an energy. And the whole idea behind this ritual is we're going to be anointing this money. And that way, when you are sending it out, when you are paying it, giving it away, it, it, we're training it to come back to you. So I start first with, I have a candle holder and a little dish. And by the way, you don't have to have the herbs. Like if you, if all you have is a green candle, that is all you need. But I'm gonna show you a way that you can do this if you have any of these things on hand. So here is a small bowl and here is a candle holder, dollar store candle holder, nothing, nothing fancy. So I start by putting my herbs here, you can see that. That was my, well first, like in my other video with the money oil, I did pray over each of these. So let's see, we'll pray for over these now. So these are the bay leaves. Grant me, bay leaf, grant me wish fulfillment and prosperity. And then I put that in this bowl. Basil, this smells so good. Grant me wealth and prosperity. So this way I am praying over and activating these herbs. Time. Time, what do I want time to do? Time, I'm gonna activate you. Grant me prosperity and business success because that's also what time is good for. And I'm sticking this in the bowl. It's kind of dry, but we're gonna take care of that in a second. If you have to break it up, that's okay too. And also, if you have dried, uh, if you don't have all of the, uh, if you don't have the fresh ingredients, like I, I have some plants in my in my yard, and I also have um, a grocery store that where I can get some of the fresh uh, herbs. Yeah, that's great, but not everybody has that. So if you want to use uh, the dried ones that you sprinkle out from the grocery store, that's totally fine. And then I have this. Celery, celery, cinnamon stick, cinnamon stick, uh, grant me prosperity and speed, fast luck. 
because that's also what cinnamon does. So I'm just gonna break this up. There we go, Let's stick that in there. And because they're dry, I'm going to wet them up a little bit with the, uh, with Florida water. It's just like spiritual cologne and it also smells nice. We do this first because it has alcohol in it and it's flammable. So I don't wanna do this after I've lit the candle. Okay. So it smells really nice here. You can't smell through the camera, I get it. But so this is the basis here. We have we have the bowl with, with the herbs and then we have the candle holder in the middle. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, okay, so I can stick some more of this left over there. The next thing I wanna do is carve my intention into this candle. So now this isn't going to be one of those one of those spells where you're doing a whole big, a, a long letter, because you know I like to do those, but for this one, I have a candle scribe that I got from uh, Troll Cunning Forge, and you can just take, a, you could take an old pen, you can take, uh, let's see, you could take a pen, you could take a, a nail, something that you can write clearly in. And I tend to write the same uh, intention every week. Yours can be whatever you want. It could be a certain amount of money that you would like to get, like to make. It could be, uh, what else could it be? It could be like fast luck, new job, you know, whatever that is for you. And I use green for this candle because, you know, green is prosperity. So I carve my intention into this candle. And also, the success of doing this ritual is by doing it every single week. You're letting your subconscious know, you're putting your brain on alert that this is something that you want and this, this is something important to you. And when we forget to do our rituals or when we just don't do them, we're not reinforcing our intention. So this is how we reinforce our intention by, by repeating this ritual every week. I do this on a Thursday. Thursday is a day of Jupiter. It's a day of good luck. But again, if, if you just, you know, something happens and, and you have to do it on another day, that's fine. But it's good to, to have a regular day in the week where you know that's the day that you are going to do your ritual. So I'm carving in this incense, man, it's getting up my nose. Um, <laughs> I am carving my intention into this green candle with my candle scribe. All right, that is my financial goal that I have and I do this every Thursday. All right, so then, once that has been carved, I take my money oil, you can see that here, and then I anoint, well, I have to like anoint it on my hand first, gotta get it on my hand to get it nice and oily, and then I anoint the candle some people like to, to do from the middle to the bottom and then the middle to the top. Some people just slather on over there. What's most important is your intention. And you know, it's, it's all about like your personal magic. By showing up to the spell every week, you are showing whoever you, you know, whether it's the universe or your deities, your ancestors, whomever, you are saying, this is important to me. And then with the rest of the oil, I just tend to put it on my hair. You can't really see, but because, you know, I have locks, so I just put it in my hair. And I have to say, this particular oil is one that a friend of mine made, and it smells really good. And um, whenever I, I do this, my husband smells it, and he's like, oh, it smells so good. So it's, it's an attraction oil, clearly, but it works on more than just, more than just uh, money. So what I like to do after I have 
Now also you might like to, if you, after you do your herbs, you might want to sprinkle or you, some people like to, instead of using herbs in a bowl, they might uh, rub the oily, do this again. They might, uh, some people like to take the dried herbs and roll the oily candle in it. So that's something you could do too. There's a lot of room here for your own personal style. And that is, and that's really what makes it powerful. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what makes it powerful is your own style and how, uh, and how you like to express your magic. So I like to make sure that my candle stays in. So I like to, cause it's a little smaller. There we go. And then I light the candle here. Okay. So while this candle is burning, I do the rest of the ritual. This is when I pull out my money. So I have money here. And as I said in my oil video, some people have a special way that they like to anoint their money and that's totally cool. Um, some people like to anoint it like the corners and then the middle or, you know, however, and or some people like to uh, write words on it, you know, with the oil, that's fine. Um, I'm using a, um, since I'm using a roll on, it makes it very easy for anointing, but you can also just take it with your hand. You know, you put the oil on your hand and you anoint it however you like. So what I like to do, I like to take whatever money I have on hand in the house. I will get all the, the cash out, all the dollars from my purse. I'll also get my husband's money <laughs> and I will just pull everything out. And it doesn't matter if all you have is a single dollar bill, if all you have are all singles, that's fine. The whole idea is that you are going to be training your money to come back to you. So what I like to do is I take this anointing oil and I like to like draw it on the face of, actually I think I like to go bigger bills first. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, how do I do that? I like the bigger bills first, it just feels good. <laughs> All right, so then I will rub it on whatever dead president this is. I'll put it on his face and I will tell him, Jackson, and I'll just smear it just a little bit. I'll try not to put it too, too much, but just enough. Jackson, come back and bring your friends. Come back. I'm telling, I'm telling it what to do. I'm telling my money to come back. Jackson, and I do that for each dollar, each bill. Jackson, come back and bring your friends. Jackson. Come back and bring your friends. Hamilton, come back and bring your friends. Hamilton, come back and bring your friends. Hamilton, return and bring your friends. Hamilton, come back and bring your friends. Hamilton, come back and bring your friends. Lincoln, come back and bring your friends. Washington, come back and bring your friends. So they're gonna be a little oily at first, so what I also like to do I'll sometimes also, I'll, I'll either put it on my skin so then I'm smelling like money, like like uh, anointed money, or I'll, you know, or I'll like rub it in my hair. It doesn't matter, just like, just to get some of that oily stuff out so it's not so obvious if I have to pay someone that I'm giving them oily money. So this way, this just dries up the oil, but also it anoints me as well. So that way, any excess oil is going on me as a person, and I am therefore anointing myself. All right, so now I have all of this money nicely anointed. So the next thing, I want to set up my little altar here. Now this is my teaching altar, but I have a green vanity tray that I use. But you can do whatever you want. You wanna have a space in your home that is going to be just your wealth altar. You may have like a, you might have like one of those money trees that you can get from like, um, like, the, uh, like the different Asian stores um, or Asian neighborhoods. They have like uh, what they call money trees or you might have lucky cats or lucky frog or any of those, those little doodads that represent, fi that, that represent prosperity. That's all you need. So, uh, and you just make, you make a little section in your home where you have your money altar. So what I do after I have, after I have anointed the money, I put them in this little tray that's, that is, becomes my altar. 
And then I put it, you see how the money is spread out here. I put the candle in the middle and then I place the crystals on top of that. So I have pyrite, grant me prosperity. Malachite, grant me prosperity. Green aventurine, grant me prosperity. Amazonite, grant me prosperity. Citrine, also known as the merchant stone, grant me prosperity and help grow my business. And we have a uh, tiger's eye, which I also have on my finger, but this I will be placing on these dollars. Uh, tiger's eye, grant me prosperity, encouraged to make more. And since I had this one on, I have this clear quartz already on my crystal, on my uh, altar here, I'm gonna include this as well. Clear quartz, amplify all these other crystals for prosperity, Ashe, amen, so it is however you like to end it. And that is basically it. So you would place this tray with the candle in your in your your wealth altar, where your wealth altar space, wherever that is. Oh, and then also I have this incense here and I would take the incense. You notice I have a gold leaf incense. So when I move it to wherever it's supposed to be or if I, you know, have it in a um an altar space, I just leave it all there. So I have that money there with the herbs, the crystals, the incense and the green candle. And I let this burn all the way through because this is a, uh, a chime candle. It's going to last about two hours, two, maybe three hours, which is great because I don't need it to be burning all day. But while it's burning, I try to do something for my business or I try to do something related to making money or I'm making phone calls or I'm following up on some kind of business, this business thing that can uh, lead to me getting, you know, more, more finance, you know, more, more money. So that right there is my wealth altar ritual. I do this every Thursday and you could do that as well. And the whole idea is that by creating a ritual for your money to grow, it will grow. And I gotta tell you, it's one of the coolest things that after I started doing this, I would get calls for work or um, more business opportunities would come. Things would happen for my husband. He would get called for things. And I've noticed it increase since I've started doing this regularly. So let me show you this one more time what this looks like. So this is the, this is the wealth altar ritual. This tray here is the whole thing. You have your dollars that have been anointed. You have the crystals, you have the herbs, you have the candle. Oh, the other thing I like to do while I am playing, while I'm doing all of this, uh, while I'm doing the anointing and the carving and, and every and, and setting everything up, I have a, I have a playlist. I have a money manifestation playlist that I use and I will also include a link to that. So you can do that. So what I do is I, I have a few songs. It's like, if I were a billionaire, um, uh, who run the world, you know, Beyonce of formation by Beyonce, um, bitch better have my money by Rihanna, <laughs> uh, level up by Ciara. So I have all of these different, you know, high vibration money songs. And you know, if th these songs don't, don't, you know, do anything for you, that's fine. You can create your own playlist. So you can use it in Spotify or you can do it in YouTube. Since this is a YouTube video, I will be linking to my playlist in YouTube. So if you wanna do something like that, you can. So the whole idea is while you are carving your candle, anointing your money, placing your crystals, you are listening to this music, which is all about manifesting money. And while you're doing that, it, it becomes this ritual and every week you are strengthening your your money muscle, your prosperity muscle. You do not have to wait to the last minute in order to, you know, for, for money to come to you. Do this on a regular basis so you can have uninterrupted prosperity, which is all we want. But in order to have that, that means you need to keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind, right? So try this and let me know how it goes for you, all right? So this is Aunt Carla from uh, Marie Lazo, and I'll see you soon.